And for 20 years, Jones has been on Oklahoma's death row, which is located in maximum security at the state penitentiary there in McAllister. Today, the Department of Corrections not giving us much detail about his current status or where he's headed next, saying we'll have to undergo a lengthy reclassification process. After the governor's decision yesterday, Julius Jones will not be put to death, but also will not get a shot at getting out of prison. But things could still change inside for him. In the short term, he was transferred out of a bare execution holding cell and back to H Block, which houses death row. But what's next when he leaves that part of H Block and even whether he'll stay in McAllister is unclear. DOC will go through pages of classification procedures to calculate what's called a custody score. It's a number that takes into account things like his sentence, disciplinary and escape history, and age. That'll help them decide if he'll be housed in minimum, medium, or maximum security. DOC wouldn't say what privileges would be available at those levels, saying it can vary. At Jones's clemency hearing, he said if he was taken off death row, he'd like to work with young people. What I can do is, try, is do my part to make the world better. For me, that looks like helping young people recognize and avoid the mistakes I've made. Helping them pursue their dreams, because nothing simply happens the way you want it to happen. It requires hard work and perseverance. In Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.